let's explore some database concepts before getting into the syntax of MySQL. The purpose of a database is to track people, places, and things. We've all attended school, so we know schools need to track classes and students, teachers, classrooms, grades, and many other things. We call the people, places, and things we track entities. Entities are described and identified by their attributes. A student's attributes would include first and last name, date of birth, email address, phone number, and much more. Tables contain the instances of an entity. Now, what that means is that we would take all of the data that pertains to our students and store it in the student table and all of the data that pertains to our teachers and store it in the teacher or personnel table. A school database would consist of many tables. Each instance of an entity must have a unique identifier. This is its primary key. Primary keys need to be unique and none of these attributes are. So it's common for a school to add an additional attribute, the student ID, to serve as the primary key. A database then is simply a collection of related tables. It's common for entities to have relationships with entities from other tables. For instance, teachers teach classes and students earn grades. Some of these relationships are one-to-one. -one. A school has only one principal. Some relationships are one to many. A student takes many courses. Secondary keys are alternate indices and need not be unique. It would be much quicker and more efficient to produce a monthly birthday listing if the date of birth was a secondary key. Sometimes we combine attributes to form a compound key. For instance, we may need a student's first and last name to look up his phone number. Queries are questions that we ask of our database. For instance, who earned a B or higher in algebra? Pat yourself on the back because you've learned some of the fundamental concepts of relational database theory. Next time, we'll take a look at relational notation. Thank you for studying with me, Dr. Mark Winnegar.